What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another New York Giants video. And in this video, I'm going to discuss another top-level NFL draft prospect in Oregon, edge rusher Kayvon Thibodeau, a prospect who just had his pro day with Oregon. And I'm going to dive into him. But first and foremost, make sure to go check us out on all of our social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter, and our YouTube channel at Big Blue Avenue for all of our up-to-date exclusive content. Now, Kayvon Thibodeau. So Giants GM Joe Shane did, in fact, attend Kayvon Thibodeau's pro day at Oregon. So Shane traveled to Oregon, but he did not travel alone. The Giants sent five individuals over to Oregon's pro day. They weren't the only ones, though. They were joined by seven people from the Detroit Lions and seven from the Seattle Seahawks. So, you know, a lot of people are wondering where Kayvon Thibodeau may fall in this draft. Well, in my opinion, if Detroit doesn't take him, he may in fact fall to the New York football Giants at number five overall. And it's interesting because the Giants have also been eyeing players like Trayvon Walker out of Georgia and Jermaine Johnson out of Florida State. Thibodeau was highly coveted by the Giants back at the NFL Combine uh, about a almost a month ago now. And Thibodeau was asked, you know, can he handle the New York media? And, you know, the Giants tested him with the combine interviews. And, you know, they asked, can Thibodeau handle not having a sack for five games and deal with the media heat and pressure? That's just how it is. Now, Thibodeau, this is a guy, his stats don't jump off the board. This past year, he had seven sacks and 12 tackles for loss with two forced fumbles. Now, I know he didn't play every single game of the year, but you know, this year, his third year, technically his junior season for the Oregon Ducks was a darn good one. In 2020, he had just three sacks shortened year due to COVID, and 2019 had nine sacks and one forced fumble as a freshman. This guy, he's an outside linebacker. He's an edge rusher. Uh, he's 6'5", 258 pounds, ran a nice 4.58 40-yard dash, and bench press 27 reps. So he is strong. He is quick, very powerful man. And he did miss time this past season, played in 11 games with nine starts. And he did opt out of the bowl game to prepare for the NFL draft. But I think Thibodeau would be a great fit in Wink Martindale's defensive scheme. Now, previous defensive coordinator Patrick Graham was the DC last year when the Giants took Aziz Ojolari, a guy who was viewed more as a five-tech pure edge rusher. Graham's defense, however, did incorporate a lot of 3-4 and 4-3 concepts. Ojolari played a lot in the 3-4 stance at Georgia. Thibodeau did a similar thing at Oregon, but he can go either way. Thibodeau is going to have to get more comfortable in a two-point stance at the next level in the NFL, um, especially if the Giants decide to put him on the line with Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams, or if you line him up across Aziz Ojolari, which is my thought process. Uh, that would work out great. Now, looking at Kayvon Thibodeau, I think he has enough power to work against guards sparingly. So basically what I'm saying, you want to line him at the one tech, the zero tech, you can. Not every play, but you can do that here and there. He does have versatility, which is something that the Giants look for and all NFL teams look for. He has a lot of power, and plus he is a plus run defender who punches. I love how he punches above the waist and, uh, you know, at the point of attack that creates leverage for him against offensive linemen. And he does have a wide array of pass rushing moves, which are very impressive, which I'll, sh uh, I'll show in our film breakdown in just a few moments. But uh, this guy's the whole package. That's what scouts are telling us, you know, content creators and evaluators. This guy has everything. The combination of speed and power is unique. Not to mention the Giants hired Andre Patterson as their defensive line coach, a guy who was notorious for developing tremendous edge rushers with the Minnesota Vikings. Part of the reason why guys like Everson Griffin wanted to come back, you know, um, getting Dalvin Tomlinson from the Giants, developed Daniel Hunter quite nicely, Brian Robeson over the years. Those are just a few names, but I, I just really, really like. Thibodeau's potential here, who can develop into an elite pass rusher at the next level if developed correctly, which is why I think having guys like, you know, Drew Wilkins from Wink's scheme in Baltimore and Andre Patterson are essential 
towards this defense heading into 2022. So look, this is such a great draft pick if he falls to five, because you're talking about two elite borderline elite. If we throw Ojalari in there, pass rushers, I mean, I think he's on his way there. Had eight sacks as a rookie on cost controlled contracts, right? That's how NFL teams win championships. Thibodeau and Ojalari both on cost controlled contracts. That is just awesome to even think about. However, with any good prospect, there does come some negativity and criticism. One NFC personnel director said he might top out at 10 or 11 sacks. Now, this is just one person's opinion. I'm not really going to buy too much into it because, you know, I've watched the film on this guy. He is very impressive. Now, could this personnel director be correct? Of course. But you're not always looking for a guy who rips open the floodgates with 13, 14 sacks a season. When you have a guy across from you like Aziz Ojolari, hopefully the Giants can develop Ellerson Smith and they have Quincy Roche. You don't need 15 sacks from Kayvon Thibodeau. You just don't. So now I'm going to get into the film breakdown on Thibodeau and who he is as a player. We're going to start off with um, some sacks that he had off the edge, some through the middle of the defense. Then we're going to go over some run-stopping plays as well. And he's pretty much the whole package, so I'm really, really excited to do that. Oh, and before we get there, folks, just a quick reminder to – uh, support our sponsor, BetUS. You can sign up with our promo code below at join125. Get your 125% sign-up bonus up to $2,500. You can get quick and fast payouts on the go, anywhere, anytime from your mobile device. That is BetUS, where the game begins. Now, let's get into this wonderful film evaluation of potentially the top edge prospect in this NFL draft, Kayvon Thibodeau. All right. so. Here we go. The film breakdown of Kayvon Thibodeau, Oregon edge rusher. Now we have highlights in this short video. It's only a minute long, which I'll break down the clips uh, from his freshman up until his junior season. So here Thibodeau is lined up. I believe he is lined up over here. I'm not 100 percent sure, but we'll find out in a moment. This is against Auburn, by the way. And the first highlight that he makes, it's a nice pressure on the Auburn quarterback. He doesn't get a sack or anything here, but he disrupts the play very nicely. And he causes a real nuisance to opposing quarterbacks. So we'll go through it. Yep, that was him. So now before I even get into this play, just watch what he does, right? So this is Bo Nix, the quarterback, right? He's faking the halfback draw. And Thibodeau hesitates he's making sure the running back doesn't get the football so great eyes great vision automatically right there from Thibodeau and you could see him he fills that hole just in case he realizes Nick pull, pulls it back and he has the speed to instantly get the quarterback and somehow Thibodeau was on mark Nick throws it in the dirt really has no other choice you know and moving on to clip number two um so this might be against California, I believe. Yep. So this is a strip sack against California. And you'll see here they have a halfback here in the backfield to the left of the QB. Thibodeau is over here rushing the edge. And you'll see just this is a pure speed play. Good job getting underneath the larger left tackle to strip that football out. Here's another slow motion look and look at the way he goes in with the arm he is going in to swat that football out does that remind you of anybody you're guessing oc or jpp you'd happen to be correct and he doesn't even actually go for the football he just rakes his arm around the shoulder of the qb now this next highlight here is against usc quarterback this is just a pure sack nothing more he's lined up over here you can see he times this snap perfectly. And that's a unique snap because he's lined up against the right tackle. So I found that very interesting. He can line up against left tackles, right tackles, you name it. And here, this next clip, I believe we are back to U.S. This is either against USC or Cal. Um, no, definitely not USC, but... Um, I'll play this one here. Um, 
Oh, it looks like it's against Utah, actually. So, Thibodeau rushes up the middle on the guard. So, here, you see his combination of finesse and speed beats the left guard beautifully, does the little up and under type of move, or up and over, I should say, and takes down the quarterback. Almost had a horse collar there, but did a nice job on making sure he did not. This play here is against Oregon State. Now, he gets a sack through two guys on this play. And as you can see, uh, very poor conditions here in this game. Thibodeau, I believe he is lined up here. He starts here, and then he does a nice little stunt inside. Gets through two defenders and takes the Beavers quarterback down. So, that again, that's just a beautiful play by Kayvon Thibodeau. Rushes the quarterback. Again, he can't even progress past his first read. This play is against USC yet again. As you'll see, Thibodeau is lined up here on the far side of the formation. Two guys almost jumped offside on that play. That's against Elijah Vera Tucker, ladies and gentlemen, who is now an NFL guard. Used to play left tackle for USC. I mean, just watch what Thibodeau does on this play. It's outstanding. Uses his left arm to scoot by the left tackle. So very, very, very impressive. And here's another one against Cal. Thibodeau comes off the edge. They have a tight end here who does not even account for him. Why line up a tight end in that position if you're not even going to chip the player? And the, the left tackle just has no chance. Beautifully done by Kayvon Thibodeau getting that sack. And now we're going to show how great of a plus run defender he is. So this is fourth and inches against USC. Thibodeau is lined up over here, that green helmet right there across from. He's in between the right guard and right tackle. So USC is in a bunch formation, and this is going to be a halfback draw, and we'll watch what happens. Untouched through the line of scrimmage. Now, you see number, I believe that's 42 in motion right here. Um, and I believe this game is against Iowa State, actually. And you see Thibodeau, who's lined up over here on the edge, finds a way to make this stop. I think you folks will be very impressed with the play Thibodeau makes here. I'm sorry, it was actually a draw. The pitch is coming up here on this next one. But, I mean, beautiful fourth down stop. And here, this is a different possession. They're backed up in the red zone here. He stops the jet sweep, and he's lined up over here now. He's not down in the stance. He's coming off the edge, pure outside linebacker position in a 3-4 formation, as you could see. Oregon showing a disguise blitz. Iowa State has no chance here. So, again, here he is, right? They're faking to the running back. Thibodeau is watching to see and try to read the eyes of the quarterback here as to what he's trying to do. And he's trying to keep his eyes on the football with the running back's back turn. So quarterback never gave him a ball. The receiver had the ball. That's the fun part about that play, right? So it was automatically, look, the quarterback, it's like a hot potato. Throws it off. Thibodeau has his eyes on the football and finishes him up nicely for a loss of five in the backfield. Now here's just one more play. This is special teams. Thibodeau coming off the edge. There's three up men here responsible for blocking one, two, three, four Oregon players who are going to rush this punt. How in the world does Kayvon Thibodeau go unmarked right here? This is a pure foot race between him and the leg of the punter. And Utah lost that one, ladies and gentlemen. So those are some brief highlights of Kayvon Thibodeau. I hope you enjoyed what you watched evaluating this NFL draft prospect. If Kayvon Thibodeau is available at number five, Joe Shane better be calling Mr. Thibodeau's phone. Folks, I really appreciate you all watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you like Kayvon Thibodeau as a prospect? Do you think he would be a good fit for the New, for the New York Giants in this new defensive scheme under Wink Martindale? 
make sure to comment below in the comment section. I really do appreciate all of you fans watching these videos, you know, daily. It's awesome. Appreciate the support. We love our fans. And of course, make sure to go check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and our YouTube channel at Big Blue Avenue, as we will be evaluating more NFL draft prospects, diving into some film this next coming month, leading up to the 2022 NFL draft. Folks, without further ado, let's go Big Blue.